Coming up, man, oh man, big, big, big bad news here for this Ravens team last night. Truly unfortunate. They're starting running back J.K. Dobbins is unfortunately going to be out for the entire year. Unfortunately got injured last night and uh, J.K. Dobbins currently undergoing his MRI but the expectations going in was that he had suffered a season-ending knee injury. Now, the results of the MRI have not come back quite yet, but it's this he's going to be out for the year, folks. Truly, truly unfortunate. We do have the play here, so let's quickly watch this play to see how we got injured. It was a screen pass. In the first quarter, three or six minutes into the game, and he goes down. We see him get uh, hit right here, gets kind of sandwiched right at his knees, and he just instantly goes and grabs for his, is this right knee? Left knee right there. Man, oh, man, man, oh, man, down in pain, grimacing, can't believe it, has to take off his helmet. I think we get one more good look. We get another replay. Yeah, let's watch it from this angle. Here we go. So here we go, just get sandwiched right there, knee, ooh, and a little hyperextend that got kind of caught in the ground, and that's a shoulder pad right into that knee. Shoulder pad right into the knee, ooh, made it almost bend backwards, gosh dang. So, man oh man, truly unfortunate here by this Ravens team because, you know, we know that they lost Mark Andrews last season, so now they're only down to like two good ones. And Mark Andrews didn't play a huge role, he just, you know, played a real kind of relief pitcher role. And we talked about that last season with this Ravens team, like every single down a new running back would come into the game. So there was always fresh legs at the running back position for the Ravens last season. They were also a very run-heavy offense, and we expect that to come down a little bit. So that, if you want to look for any silver lining here for the Ravens, it's, well, they are not, well, they, they probably won't be rushing as much that they than they did last season than they, than they are going to be doing this season. So I guess that's a little bit of a silver lining, but I mean, I'm sure the Ravens would still love to have Gus Edwards out there as their main starting back. So now they turn to Gus Edwards. Edwards, who is, you know, once again, still a solid back. Well, let's go over J.K. Dobbins' uh, stats very quickly. Going into his second year, rookie last season, and he put up 800 yards on the ground with nine rushing touchdowns, 120 in the passing game, uh, so a grand total of 925 yards of scrimmage from last season. But that's real still solid for a rookie in a kind of three-back set last season. So he was still getting it truly done. When we look at what Gus Edwards has been doing, he's going into his fourth season. He's got 700 yards every single year year 718 yards year one 711 yards year two and then 723 rushing yards year three he's not oh you know a great catcher of the football out of the backfield his highest receiving season was last year 129 yards so Gus Edwards is going to have to kind of step it up here. Can he be a thousand yard back? That's what the Ravens are truly going to have to rely on because they don't have that depth anymore mark mark um Mark Ingram is gone, and J.K. Dobbins is unfortunately out for the season. So when we look at just kind of the running back depth that they have now, I mean, they got to rely on Justice Hill, Tyson Williams, and Nate McCary. I mean, they're all going to have to try to emerge. I don't even know if these guys have ever played in a game before. I've never heard of these players. Uh, Justice Hill, 60 yards rushing last season in the 2019 uh, draft. Uh, so nothing great there. We get Tyson Williams. What does he got going on? He's a rookie this season, so he's done nothing. And then Nate McCary. What do we got on this dude? He's a rookie as well. Nothing great. So, I mean, Gus Edwards is truly going to have to step up to the plate here this season and be the main workhorse three down back that hopefully he can maybe be because we haven't seen it because they haven't needed a just sit, uh, 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 an alone uh, lone Ranger, Lone Wolf, one one person back in the backfield. They've never had that. Like we just said, three running backs last season. So Gus Edwards is going to have to step up. We'll see if he can get the job done. And this is just, once again, putting more pressure on Lamar Jackson, which is never great because there's so much pressure on him just naturally going into this season. You know, the whole media narrative of him only being a running back and him not being able to have a good deep ball or throw consistently. And then you have the offensive coordinator kind of, you know, watering down the plays they're not taking those deep shots because they didn't have the receivers and now this season so you got all that 
And then this season of no real, real great running game. So Lamar Jackson's going to have his work cut out for him. Hopefully he can get it done. Gus Edwards is truly going to have his work cut out for him. Hopefully he can get it done. And now when we're just kind of looking at the free agent running back market, there are still some good options at the Ravens. The Ravens are going to have to do something. I mean, you can't go into the season with only Gus Edwards and nothing else proven behind him. Um, you know, maybe you can keep two of these running backs, Justice Hill, Taysen Williams, and Nate McCary, but one's got to go at least because there is a solid free agent market at the moment, you've still got Lamar Miller, serviceable, has been proven to get it done. Alfred Morris, serviceable, has proven to get it done. And, you know, these running backs only have to be the number two coming into the system because we've seen some solid work by Gus Edwards, 700 yards consistently, and that's always with splitting reps between another running back. So we believe he can potentially be a 1,000-yard back, and then you just have, you know, the Lamar Miller, Alfred Morris, even kind of LaShawn McCoy is still out there, or not LaShawn McCoy, um, Lay Le'Veon Bell is still out there. That's a potential. LaShawn McCoy may still be out there, or he's on the Chiefs, one of the two, but would you go after LaShawn McCoy? His his career may be over. We don't know yet. Um, and then there was one more name I wanted to bring up. Um, Adrian Peterson? Can we get an Adrian Peterson on this Ravens team? How would that work out? Would that be pretty good? You know, Adrian Peterson, you know, one last ride in him with the Super Bowl participant. You know, I mean, this Ravens team is kind of Super Bowl bubble ask, I would say. I would say this team has a real solid chance of representing the AFC. Um, you know, we know the AFC is very, very tough this season, but we do believe the Ravens are have the offense and they definitely do have the defense. They have the quarterback, they have the coach to go and get to the Super Bowl. So maybe sign Adrian Peterson. He's, you know, waiting in the wings, ready to rock when a team calls them up so there's some options here for the Ravens it's not all you know doomsday doom and gloom out here there are still some slivers of hope out here with the running back position and uh you know we'll see what they uh, end up doing here now that they're finally done with the preseason they just played their last game yesterday and now they've got the kind of two weeks to uh prepare for their week one meeting so we'll see what the Ravens do at the running back position. There, the the good thing is, folks, that there are still some serviceable running backs in free agent that you won't have to spend too much money on that can come in and fill in for this one year, and uh, hopefully they can still be good because we don't want to see Lamar Jackson on a bad team because then what happens? Then media just instantly disregards Lamar Jackson, and then we get all the he's just a running back narratives for the entire year, and aren't you? y'all sick of that I mean I'm sick of just hearing Lamar Jackson's just a pure running back can we stop that please so JK Dobbins truly truly unfortunate out here most likely ACL injury but uh, we'll know more but uh, he is gonna 99% be out for the rest of the year unfortunate all right